Hold up. Here's what I used. A blanket, an oil filter, gloves, oil of course, a wrench, and an oil pan. And don't forget your funnel. So first I just move my pan into position, which is under those, right directly under the two bolts that I'm about to loosen up. So I use a 17 millimeter wrench for this. And first I loosen them. And then once they were loose, I um, unscrewed them by hand. So once the first bolt came out, obviously the oil started to flow. And then the second bolt came out and more oil flowed. And I think I let that um, just sit for about 10 to 15 minutes maybe. So while the oil is draining out, I actually use this time to clean my bolts off. And I just use a handy dandy paper towel. I'm pretty sure there's something more environmentally friendly to use to clean oil <laughs> but um, this works for me so don't come for me at this point I'm screwing the bolts back in hand tightening them and then I go in with a wrench afterward and tighten it all the way down Okay, wait, let's go back to this part for a second. I definitely forgot to put my washers on. <laughs> so I took them out, cleaned them, unscrewed the bolts, and then put the washers on and did it again. <sighs> and now I am taking off my oil filter using that same 17 millimeter wrench that I use for the bolts under the bike. And this is my favorite thing about this K&N oil filter is the fact that it has the ability to be able to wrench it off because the stock filter that came with this bike I had to use the good old-fashioned screwdriver punching holes in it and screw and unscrewing it because it was damn near impossible for me to get it off so this is I love this filter awesome filter Okay, I don't know what the technical term is for this part right here, but I'm just going to call this priming the oil filter. That sounds pretty legit. So, I'm just I just poured some oil into the oil filter just a little bit and then I took some and rubbed it around the top of the oil filter just to get it lubricated and um primed. <laughs> and then I just screwed it right back on to the bike. And we are almost at the end. This is my favorite part of the oil change because that means I'm almost done. All right, so funnel is in the oil chamber. That's what I'm gonna call it. I don't know what the actual te technical term is. It's in the oil chamber. Um, I used Amsol 10W40 100% synthetic oil. Had to make sure I got all that. But um, I read really good reviews about it. It's the first time I've ever used this oil. So, we're going to see how my bike runs after I use it. I've heard nothing but great things, though. 
um, I actually used four and a half quarts so I put a whole gallon in there and then I used a half of a quart bottle So after running the bike for about one to two minutes, I checked the oil level again. And now for my second favorite slash least favorite part of doing an oil change, which is the clean up. So I'm putting the old oil into the new oils bottle and I'm going to take that to the auto store next week and get that oil recycled so I can be environmentally conscious. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, <laughs> while trying not to make a mess y'all see the oil spillage Ugh, see trying to be environmentally conscious and I'm spilling oil well that was the oil change y'all I did that <laughs> to my own horn I love working on my own bike and I love learning so shout out to all the youtubers out there that helped me do my oil change <laughs> you could do it too